Time for a bike packing gear review. I'm gonna show you how I got everything set up and then I'm gonna pull all the stuff out of the bike and talk about it. In the top bag here, I have my sleeping bag, my sleeping pad, my pillow. I also have a uh, towel and I have a sitting pad. On the top here, this is a rain cover for the whole bag. On the outside here, I have my Baofeng radio. Everybody should have one of these. Communication is gonna be very important. In the front pack here, I have my, uh, my charging pack, just the cable you plug into the wall. And then I also have some uh, rags and random things in the front pocket here. In the main big pocket here, I have my food, I have my toiletries, I have some electronics, and I also have a spare can for my uh, stove and uh, my water filtration system. And I got my top cage for water bottle. In the center pack here, I have a few uh, T Allen wrenches. And then I also have the bike levers for the tire to take off the tire. And I have some uh, night riding glasses, just clear glasses in there. And again, I will be opening all this stuff up so you can see everything inside. Then come to the front here, and this is my tent. I put it in a dry bag, and that's all I have up here. I also wanted to leave some space for random things I pick up. When I go to the store, I could attach a bag out here. And uh, obviously, I put the front rack on the event in. Other accessory additions, I put a mirror for when I'm on the road. I put a bell, and that is pretty much it for the outside of the bike. Uh, I do wanna get a solar setup so that I could charge this on the go, and I'll never have to worry about stopping anywhere to recharge my bike. I may be making that purchase pretty soon here, but it is a hefty purchase uh, coming in at about $2,000, so. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I am wearing a backpack, and what I'm gonna be using the backpack for is water. I'm gonna store all my water in, on my back in my backpack. All right, let's get to a spot where I can pull this all out, probably my house. Let's go through the, the middle pack first. All right, so these right here, these are my night riding glasses. They block a lot of the wind and they're clear so I could see in the dark. There's way too much noise at this park. We got the kids playing over there. We got the basketball over here, dogs everywhere. I'm going home. Okay, we are going to take a look at everything inside my panniers. On the outside here, I put this reflective triangle for when I am in traffic. However, when I get to camp, I don't want everybody to see me, so it's removable with some Velcro. First, we're gonna take off the top pack. So these panniers are the Roswell panniers. And I did spray paint over the logo that is on the side of these. The reason I spray painted over it is because I didn't want them to be reflective if I'm stealth camping. Okay, we're gonna open this up and I'm gonna take everything out. First thing I got in here is a foam sitting pad. Next thing, this is a quick dry towel. Frog Togs rain coat. I only have the top, the actual jacket part, because I'm I'm not gonna care about keeping my legs dry. It just doesn't matter to me. Plus the pants I have, which I'll show you later, are water resistant, so they'll they'll block anything anyways. This is a Z-Pax water bag to cover it all up. This is the Corinthia sleeping bag. I believe it is a Swedish company. This sleeping bag is absolutely amazing. It's the most comfortable sleeping bag I've ever owned. And I believe it's rated for down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not 100% on that. It might be a 20 degree. But it also packs up really, really small, so I'm able to fit it in that pannier. Next thing is my pillow. And then the final thing is my Powerlix sleeping pad. Now I've had this thing now for five camping trips. It's always done me well. I actually really like it.
And that is everything in the top pouch. Next pouch, I got the Baofeng UV5R. This thing is amazing. Basically any radio I could get on here except for really high frequencies. Let's open this one first here. I got my Aventon charging unit. I got some warm water resistant gloves. These things are great and then you could also still use a phone with them on. They're super super warm so I mainly wear them to sleep if, I, if it's really cold outside. Then I got uh, two gaiters and that is it for the very front pouch. Okay, the main pannier here. I got my Sawyer water filter and I have a cut lid or a cut bottom to a smart water bottle with a mark on it to measure one cup and this is for cooking purposes. I have one bladder for extra water storage. This is the two liter CNOC bladder for more water storage. I have an extra gas can for my stove and this is my toiletries and some electronics. And this one is all my food. Okay now I'm going to show you what is in this. This is a med kit. Neosporin, little Swiss army knife. This is the one with the scissors. This is the, I believe it's called Mr. Green nail clippers. Just push it down. These things are actually really cool. This right here is the Gear Aid sewing kit. I'm not gonna open this up, but it's got an extra button. It's got thread, you know, needles, safety pin. It has everything you need to repair some clothing or something. Extra gauze. Right here, we got medications. Basically, there's uh, Tylenol, Ibuprofen, some Tums. Um, this little thing right here is the extra ring filter for the Sawyer. That's some shampoo. This is some soap right here. Extra tapes. Then on this side, we got you know an emergency blanket, some moleskin for blisters, and a few other things. This is the Z-Pack toothbrush. And then I also have some biodegradable toothpaste. Got some Q-tips, some dental floss and some toilet paper. This is basically wires and everything I need for some electronics in here. There's also a lab mic and a few other random electronics. This right here is another med kit for one, just a trail med kit. It's got everything I need in there. Just fail safe basically. An extra trash bag. I'm probably gonna put a few more of these in here. And that is it for the electronics and toiletry bag. Now let's go over the food bag. So in this pack right now, I have a two day setup. Peak refuels are my favorite, so I got the Mountain Berry and Granola. This is a little salt and pepper shaker for added flavor on the entrees. I got the chicken pesto pasta. I got a bunch of Nescafe coffees. I also want to get a really high calorie bar and Kind is one of the best out there. So I got quite a few of these. I got my titanium long handled spoon and I believe that's it. I just got a bunch of granola bars and coffee in there. Okay, and then the last few things I have in this pocket, my bike pump. This has a Schrader and a Presta attachment here. So for any tube, I can use that. And the very last thing, an extra inner tube. So let's put this all back in. Okay, let's flip it around. Now, this outside pocket here. This is the random, random bips and bops. I got some sunscreen and I have the uh, deodorant style one. So you could just kind of put it on like that. This right here is basically just some uh, hand sanitizer. These are sport wipes. And then the last thing in there is a body glide. And then I have some chapstick right here and it's SPF chapstick. And that is it for that pocket. The final pannier pocket. Oh, on the back side I have a Mora knife. This knife is amazing. I absolutely love it. This right here is my cook system. Basically got a little piece of ShamWow right there. It's a Luxata 750 milliliter titanium pot, little piece of sponge, little uh, lip protector for when this is hot, you could start drinking your coffee right away. Can of fuel, and then this little titanium stove. Oh, not only the stove, I also have a little, a little Bic lighter in here. But this stove is tiny. It's made of titanium. I think it has a little bit of copper or brass in it as well. But it's actually really good. It has a really wide base to it for such a small thing. It's a really good little stove. All right. And that right there is my entire cook system. It's super light. This is a great cook system. This is the Abus bike lock and when it is locked it makes a noise and if you shake it at all it starts to beat and if you keep shaking it'll set off a really really loud ear piercing alarm great lock i highly suggest anybody who has an electric bike has a lock like this got a rag then i got the aventon bike tool next clothes got an extra sun hoodie outside of the one i'm wearing these are some quick dry shorts I got a long john set. It's the Mary Wool uh, Under Armour set. You know, basic top and bottoms. And I also have the beanie, which I was wearing in this video. 
I got some darn tough socks and also a quick dry t-shirt. In addition to that, I'll sh I have a little bit more clothing that's in my backpack, which I'll show you after this. So let me put all this away, make sure this is all of it. Oh, last thing. This right here is my Cito Summit trowel. Basically, this comes out, locks in place, and you got a trowel. And then in here, I also have Porta Wipes. These, you put a little drop of water on them and they expand to be a big, uh, like paper towel basically, or you could use it as toilet paper. And inside this trowel, there's a space right here that I stored more of the Porta Wipes. And that is it for that pocket. Let's put it all away. And that is it. I am carrying a Camelback backpack. Now in here, I'm gonna store my electronics, anything that I'm just taking in and out. So for filming, I'm gonna have my tripods, wires, lights. I got a, uh, a RAV Power battery pack, which I need to charge up. Random bandana, the Samsung uh, earbuds too, I believe in what they are. I, I love these things. And basically all I have in here right now is I got a smart water bottle, it's an empty one. It's a 1.5 liter, and this is what I'll use with my Sawyer. And then I have my new jacket, which I absolutely love, this jacket. This is a down jacket, so it packs up really small. It's the Eddie Bauer. I, I love this thing. I, I could be so warm in really low temperatures. I believe it's rated to 15 degrees, which is amazing for the price. It was only $100, or was it, eight? it's either eight or nine or $100. All right, and that was pretty much it for everything that's in the panniers of my bike packing setup on the event and adventure now there was a couple other things i didn't mention uh, i may have mentioned it quickly just the the tent i have on the front rack that is the one tigers tent now that tent has worked phenomenally for me you do need trekking poles or tent poles to put it up i'm actually waiting for some tent poles to come in some lightweight ones so that i'll use those on my bike packing setup However, whenever I'm backpacking, I'm just going to use my trekking poles to set that up. And the last thing I wanted to show you guys was uh, these, uh, these bands right here. Now this is actually what I connected the tent to the front rack with. And these bands are, are actually amazing. They're a little stretchy. They got this rubber on the inside, so it's really grippy. But yeah, I really like these bands. Uh, new product I bought, I really like them. Uh, the last thing that I didn't mention was my hiking pants. Uh, I believe they are the Free Soldiers hiking pants. Uh, I, I love these things. They're so, uh, they're, they're quick dry. They're also water resistant. The so water just beads up on them and falls off. I, I love these pants so much. They're so comfortable. And then I got the Darn Tough socks. And then I got the Ultra Lone Peak Sixes trail running shoes, which is what I use for backpacking and for riding my bike. I like to be, they're super comfortable, great trail running shoe. And then for my underwear, I use the sheath underwear. These are by far, uh, they're a little wacky, but they are by far the most comfortable underwear I have ever used and it's all I use now, sheath underwear. Now, I wish I had a promo code for you, but uh, I'm not sponsored by any of this, these companies. It's just stuff that I've accumulated with my own money over time. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I believe that is everything in my setup. Yeah, that's everything. So please use the links below if any of this stuff interests you. It will really help the channel. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch my content. And thank you for hanging with Zane. Peace.